Hey everyone, it's Trevor Lyon, the creator of Super Boomy. For today's freestyle drawing, I'll be drawing Boomy, and it'll be related to a really cool project we just started, which we'll be announcing very soon. But as we were celebrating the start of this project, I thought about some advice that might be helpful to those of you who are also pursuing your dreams. So I'll start drawing, and uh, I'll share a bit of advice that I learned through this experience and others. So this is a dream project um, that really got started when I wrote down some goals regarding Boomi and the types of projects that I wanted to have Boomi be involved with. And this power of writing things down is something I've been doing since I was a teenager. Uh, back when I was publishing my first children's books, I really found that when you have a goal or an idea, if you can write it down and write as much detail as you can about your idea, the more you write, the more you'll crystallize the ideas. And also, it should be inspiring as you're writing. It should be inspiring in the sense that you will think of other questions or other ideas and it becomes a snowball. And I always find that when you are writing things down, because you've got a visual reminder of your ideas, it's like a breadcrumb trail. And so each subsequent idea kind of creates another piece of the trail. And pretty soon, you're going to have a lot of pieces to work with. And I find that it's just more effective, especially when you're getting started, to write things down rather than kind of just sitting and thinking and holding the ideas in your mind. So I think writing specific goals and details about your plans is always a great way to start your brainstorming process. And once you've gotten you know, some of the initial ideas down, you really need to go to the next step and think about details. So when you're creating each of the action plans related to your ideas, you can think about, well, what are all the details I need to work out to make this part of the plan happen? You know, if it is uh, a new business thing, maybe you need to think about, well, who do I need to get in touch with? Uh, who is the right person to show this idea to? Um, you know, you need to write all of those details down in the beginning, and you can start to refine, obviously, as you go along. Maybe you contact somebody and they turn out not to be the perfect person to be dealing with, well then you can kind of refine your plan and you can go down the list. Perhaps you already have a list of a few people that you want to work with and you can go down to the next name on your list. And so I just find that everything starts with having an idea and a plan written down uh, rather than just in your head kind of floating around uh, waiting for you to get around to it. So I think that the more detail you can write your plans with, the more effective you'll be as you're pursuing your plans. And everything that we've been able to achieve with Boomi has been written. Now obviously, when I'm writing the scripts for Boomi, I'm literally writing down the ideas that'll happen in the story, the characters he's going to meet, the dialogue that he's going to be saying with his friends um, and his uh, adversaries like Megabug. But in life, uh, when you are working on projects, I think it's the same thing. It's like the scripts that you're writing. You know, you should write down all of the steps, all of the you know, people that you need to meet in order to uh, facilitate your goals. Um, all the things that you need to do, all the action you need to take in order to make these things happen. You know, you're obviously the star of your own movie and everything that you want to happen, you also have to be the director of that movie as well. So I just think that writing things down has been really powerful uh, in terms of helping us achieve our goals. And every time I have a new project I'm starting, like the one that we started today, I always think about how cool it is when I look back at my notes. Sometimes the notes are from a year ago. Uh, sometimes the notes are from 10 years ago. All of these things started with an idea in my imagination that I then wrote down 
and followed as a plan um, step by step. And obviously there are a lot of changes along the way, a lot of unforeseen things, you know, as the whole world has found out over the last almost two years, you know, things can change very suddenly and you never know what might be around the bend. And for me, that's even more reason to write things down because at least you know there's something that you can control and something that you know for certain, which is what you've already written down. You can always change it, you can edit it, uh, you can refine it, you can make it better. Uh, sometimes you might even start over, but at least you have something to work with. So as we start the process on this cool new project, I'm really thankful um, that I learned this skill when I was a lot younger and uh, it's led to some pretty amazing things that we've achieved with Boomi and Up Studio so far. But I am certain it's going to lead to many, many more exciting adventures as well. So I hope you liked today's freestyle drawing and uh, hopefully you'll remember that advice to write down your goals as specifically as you can and refer to them, edit them, work on them every day until you make them come to reality and make your dreams come true. All right, good luck, see you next time.